What's up, witches? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. So, I was doing some house cleaning. And look what arrived. So, we're going to do an Ink Goddess Creations unboxing. I was doing laundry. and I've been doing a lot of sorting. I don't know. I get into the... It's been probably a good two months now that I've been just going room to room to room sorting, donating, keeping, throwing away, etc, etc. I don't know why I'm in that mood. I just feel the need to get rid of stuff. Alright, so Ink Goddess Creations box and this is for the month of November. It came really quick. It just shipped like three days ago. All right, so there's that. How it looks. Where's my glasses? Let's put some eyeballs on. All right, this is the little card you get. All right, so this is what it looks like so far. Ooh, I see it. I can smell a candle. All right, so we're going to go into this. Fall Magic Sprinkles. So we'll read. Add some. Okay, so. Add some autumn vibes to your cookies and cakes. With this cute sprinkle blend, it contains salted caramel candy pieces, as well as fun fall shapes to liven your baked goods this season. Ooh. All right, I'm going to show close up. Look how cute. I see little pumpkins and leaves. All right, that's cute. I can't smell nothing. It gets in a Ziploc sealed container. All her stuff comes like that. All right, so here's the next thing. It's a little jar of something. Kitchen Witch Magical Culinary Blend. Happiness. So, looks like that. So, this is like a Kitchen Witch box. I love this. Um, what is this? Happiness. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so Happiness Kitchen Witch Magical Culinary Blend. This blend of sugar, cocoa, and spices can be sprinkled into cookies, into coffee, or hot cocoa, or added to your recipes to infuse happiness and joy energies into your culinary creations. I love the It's Kitchen Witch in a month when a lot of us cook. All right, so. Oh, yeah. This candle. All right, so the candle looks like this. And it is a Kitchen Witch votive candle. A blend of cinnamon, clove, and honey to warm your kitchen and add magic to your cooking or baking. This will go on my altar. Oh, because it just has to, right? That smells so good. All right, so. Oh, my God, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, my gosh, look at that. It's a little rolling pin. Look. Oh my goodness. And it's really heavy. It's solid wood. This <laughs> this is so cute. Pentacle rolling pin. Easily roll protection into your dough with this pentacle rolling pin. This tool can help add witchy texture to your cookies or biscuits while infusing them with protective energy. So a lot of you, I, I'm sure if you follow my channel, you know 
that this is a symbol of protection. Not evil like everybody tries to make it out to be. Oh, that is so cute. I'm using it. I just have to... I might want to, like, oil it. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it to get yucky. Okay. The next thing is a magnet. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. A refrigerator magnet. And look. It has all the measurements on it. Like, one... Cups, teaspoons, tablespoons, fluid ounce, milliliters. So, one... It just has all the little measurements on it. Very cute. And it says... I don't think there's... Okay, it just it's just a refrigerator magnet. All right, so we got two cards on cooking with uplifting intentions and kitchen magic to add to your deck. Because with this, you get a little in the beginning. Let me go grab it. It's right over here. When I first got the original first box, you get this little card holder, and then there was all these little cards, and I keep, then these cards are slightly different. I keep, I can't, I don't see them. They're over in my craft room that I keep them, but these, these might go down in the kitchen. All right, so cooking with uplifting intentions. And it says foods, and it lists foods, herbs, and spices, days of the week. So when you cook, cooking with uplifting intentions, these are the certain foods you could use, the herbs and spicing, spices in the days of the week. And kitchen magic involves transforming ordinary culinary preparations into sacred spaces where the food and drinks you create are automatically infused with magic. So, there's that if you want to take a screenshot. So, to add to my deck. That's awesome. Alright, and here is all the information you need. And, of course, my phone on cue. Oh. I hate turning my sound down because then I'm afraid if I forget to turn it back up and there's an emergency, but I don't know. I can tell people a hundred times I'm filming. All right, last but not least, a little cutting board. Okay, so it says Kitchen Witch Herb Magic Cutting Board. Let me see if I can get it open. This petite cut bamboo cutting board is etched with magical herbs for many intentions. You can use the other side as a cutting board or hang it in your kitchen as witchy decor. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I'm bringing it up close. Beautiful, so it has... For protection, basil, cinnamon, clove, fennel, garlic, and sage. Abundance, allspice, basil, clove, dill, ginger, and nutmeg. Healing, bay, cinnamon, fennel, garlic, mint, and thyme. Love, basil, cardamom, chili pepper, ginger, lavender, rosemary. Wisdom, bay, cinnamon, lemongrass, nutmeg, peppermint, star anise. Success, bay, cinnamon, ginger, marjoram, Mustard seed, rosemary, happiness, anise, lemon, lavender, marjoram, orange, and parsley, courage, basil, bay, horseradish, mustard seed, black pepper, thyme, friendship, basil, dill, cinnamon, mint, rosemary, and thyme. Absolutely gorgeous, and this will be hanging. I won't use it as a cutting board because it's too beautiful. I'm going to use it as an art piece. 
So, in this box, we've got the cutting board, the rolling pin, the two cards to add to our Eclectic Witch deck, the refrigerator magnet, the votive, which is going on my altar, so that'll stay off to the side, the happiness culinary mix, Oh, wow. That smells so good. It has sugar, cocoa powder, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and orange peel. Smells wonderful. And I, just, I have a pumpkin spice and an apple cider tea that I think this would go great in. And then the little fall magic sprinkles to add to your cookies. How cute is that? The card. The card. And I think... That's it. And isn't that enough? That was an that was an ox awesome box. And I think it couldn't come at a more perfect time because November, a lot of us cook for our families in November, whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not. I feel that every dinner time or gathering should have some form of thanks given and gratitude. So, um, I can remember my grandmother always telling me never cook for your family when you're angry or upset because your energy goes into the food and it can transfer to the people that you're cooking for. So, keep that in mind when you're cooking your holiday meals um, or any meals. If you're angry or upset, um, try to... Switch your mood up and think positive thoughts as you're cooking, stirring your food, frying, flipping, whatever the case may be, so that those good intentions go into the food. And as your family and yourself consume them, that positive energy goes into them. So, with that being said, you have a blessed and magical day. And remember, don't let anyone tame your spirit. Until next time. Bye.